welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new here. So today I wanted to do a video all about curling my hair. I'm going to pop some pictures up here on the screen of some recent curly hair looks that you guys have been liking. On Instagram I was talking about it and you guys said you would like a video so I thought I would do a sit down YouTube video so I can really show you how I've been doing it. I've been doing my hair for years since I used to steal my mom's GHDs when I was literally like 12 um, and frazzled my hair and then I had a year where I did not use any heat at all because my hair was so damaged and now I'm back to using heat and I feel like it's taken me years and years of different tongs and different products to finally get like the curly hair look that I like, you know, it's not too ringlet to here, it's a bit beachy, it's a bit messy. It's wavy, it's personally what I'm loving. So, I thought I would show you a tutorial, show you how to do it, and then I'm gonna link everything below that I have been using. Basically, it depends on what kind of curls you want, but there are so many different barrels available depending on the curls you want, but this is the kind of look I've been going for. It's a bit big right now because I did just do it, but it does drop. So, without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. So, this isn't just freshly washed hair, this is just my hair when the curls have dropped a little bit been out in the rain, in the wind, so you can see a bit of the wave is still there, so it does actually hold really nicely. But like today, when I'm doing a shoot day and I need my hair to go back to being curly, I thought I would show you how I've been doing it. So first things first, heat protection all over. I hate going to places where they don't use heat protection. What I'll do is I will link below um, the best like, heat protection stuff I use. And then you can obviously use section and clips, way more professional, but I usually just use a hairband that I've got on my wrist and get it into sections. Spray it again because you need to spray it and then brush out. I love this brush. Again, I'm going to link everything I'm using below. So the hair is brushed out. So this side is like my difficult to do side and my friend taught me finally how to curl this side. So I'm going to hold it upside down like this and I'm going to twist it this way. So this is basically the easiest way I can show you. And as you can see, I've got quite a thin section. I am pulling it quite tightly because you basically want the curls to look horrendous and tight because we're going to brush them out in the end. So I'm holding the end of it. The tongue is upside down. It's a bit of a weird motion, but once you get used to it, and then I'm going to let it go. And that is how it looks, kind of like a thin ringlet. I found the thinner the pieces, not too thin, maybe about this much, the more wavy it goes. So I'm going in behind the strand of hair, tongue upside down. It's a bit of a rhythm to get it and I am actually curling it right up to the root. You may want to wear gloves for this and um, this is why I heat protect because I'm literally holding it so tightly into the hair but I find that the thinner the section the more kind of texture and kind of it looks a lot thicker. Hold it for about, I'd probably hold it for about 10 seconds. Let go and there we go, you see that ring that? Boom. And the next. Now if you want this to last I would recommend spraying each curl as you go. My hair does not hold well at all and this technique holds so well. Like I'm a person that gets a blow dry and as soon as I walk out of the salon, it's dropped and I tell the hairdressers that and they're like, oh yeah. Um, but no, seriously, I had a blow dry the other day and it dropped as soon as I walked out of the salon. So I'm holding it for about 10, 15 seconds. Boom, you can see it's such a nice like ringlet. And when I have it done, like fully curled, you would not want to leave the house like that. Um, but you'll see when I brush it out. So again, thin strand. Now this is the hardest side because you're just going kind of like back on yourself and kind of pushing the curl away from me actually rather than pulling it towards me. And drop. I hate holding on my hair so long. I feel like it's really bad for my hair, but... And also I'm not really bothered about the back, so it's not like I do the back sections perfectly. So in an ideal world, when I'm not filming and I have hairspray to hand, I would spritz all of these bits and hopefully you can see this is kind of how it should look when you've just curled it like this one. It's perfect. Okay, and then I'm going to go into the next section. I usually break my hair up into three sections, but it completely depends how much hair you've got. So I'm just going to brush it. I also think this works better on day two hair, when your hair's not like as clean. No, I didn't wash my hair using like any mousse or anything like that. Just normal shampoo. And I'll link all my favourites below. So again, strand, nice and thin, underneath. 
away from me. Boom. Hold it round, hold it tight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop it up. Boom, look at that. It doesn't have to be that thin. Um, you could go a little bit thicker than that, to be honest. And we go again. So it's just about getting the neck, particularly this side, it just feels a bit weird when you first do it, but this is the way that I found that it personally curls best. Oh, she's a beauty. On lazy days, I would do the sections a lot bigger than this, but look. So there you go, you can see that it's starting to look thick, even though obviously this isn't the finished style and it's absolutely not going to look like this because I've done it in thin sections. It's all kind of building up and I think that's what gives the hair such a nice thick look when it's done. I should probably have got some dry shampoo on today actually. You can tell I got caught in a rainstorm. Um, but I didn't have time to wash my hair this morning. I did only wash it yesterday. I like to kind of give my hair a few days. I'm not washing it every day because I get rid of the natural oils, so I'm told. Final section the most important section and the front bit is the most important. So again, folding it away from the face, holding it upside down. And voila, I often redo the front bit because that's usually the bit that looks that goes a bit funny. So if a piece maybe doesn't go how you want it to go, like this kind of slipped out. I'm going to leave that piece to cool down and then I'm going to style it again. Basically, oh, I burnt myself. Basically, these curls, the idea is that they're all a bit different anyway rather than being identical. So generally, you can get away with them all being a bit funny, but sometimes a bit different. But sometimes when you brush it out, you might think, oh, I just want to redo that one. Like, I could have probably got away with not curling the entire thing today because it already had some waves in it. it just depends what look you're going for. There we go, so that side is done. And then I'm gonna break this bit into two and just redo this because I'm not happy with how that went. So nice, thin, hold it. There we go, that's much better. That's gonna brush out nicer. There we go. Now it's a bit of a process, as you can see. Da -da 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 -da. It's one of those things that it does take a while, it gets quicker in time, you get faster, you can do like, thicker sections to make it easier and if you really wanted to hold this is where I would completely spray the hair now and just leave that to cool while it's sprayed. So now I'm going to move on to the next side. This is a much quicker and much easier side because it's the side that I am, um, well I don't know, it must just be the side that my arm likes to work with. And also I do a lot less sections on this side, maybe more of my hair to that side because of my part in, I'm unsure. But um, yeah, you'll get the neck basically. Even just leave my video on and literally copy exactly what I'm doing. So let's show you my favourite side to do. So I pop it over my face and I literally do it like that. And for some reason, that is just so much easier than the way I hold the other side for my arm and everything. The neck to this side is better. And it used to be that this side was always perfect and this side wasn't like, look at that, hello. This side was perfect and the other side wasn't. Um, but it's just about getting that neck. So this side, holding it this way, I'm hoping you can see that. Whereas this side is more like going that way, if that makes sense. That's why I just thought I'm just going to film myself doing it. Because I've been tonguing my hair for years, I use straighteners to curl my hair, I've used pretty much every tongue under the sun. And honestly, I don't really think it matters too much which tongue you use, it's more the technique. However, it also does depend on what look you want. So the barrels, obviously you can get thin ones, you can get thick ones, this one's quite chunky. And um, so I'll link the exact one below, but I'll link some other ones that I use as well. I find that, you know, it just depends what kind of vibe you're after. But once you've got the neck, that's when you can be like, ah, that works for me. I used to actually have a Tresemme wand that I honestly got for like 10 pounds from the supermarket years ago. 
and it gave the nicest curls. I don't think it always has to be expensive. I also like Cloud9 and GHD, um, but it just depends. So this barrel is like a thick one, which seems to give me such nice waves, which is weird because I'd expect that it would be a thinner one that would give me nice waves. Um, but I guess the thinner you make the hair, the thinner you're going to make the waves. So now we're already onto that top section. Because there's just not that much hair there. You can see I'm much quicker at this side because it's so much easier to just hold it and wrap it round. I would just basically say choose the same kind of size strand of hair when you're going round. Decide if you want big ringlets, little ringlets or like minuscule ringlets. I'd say I go for like medium sized, not too big, not too small. And that gives me my desired effect. Hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds. I like to hold it tight. And look how quick this side is, already on the last bit. Okay, so now we're going to spray with hairspray. And the most important part is that you let it cool. When I sit in salons and I do my hair, they literally leave me sat there for like five, ten minutes while it completely cools. So make sure you have a good hairspray. And like I say, you could have sprayed literally each curl after you've done it. If I'm like going out for dinner or need them to last all day, I will literally spray each one individually after I've done it, but right now, I'm just spraying the entire head. Seriously, I say to them in salons, I'm like, please put so much hairspray on for me, and I found that some hairsprays just don't work that well, so I'm gonna link my favorite hairsprays below. Favorite tongs, favorite, you know, I actually use some good leave-in treatments that I leave on my hair, and they protect from heat, so I'll leave those below as well. Just depends what you want. I mean, I use like every product under the sun on my hair, there are so many good ones. Here is when you can also put some dry shampoo on if you want as well, which, your girl needs right now. So, just leave it to cool. Once it's cooled, this is a fun bit. So obviously I look ridiculous right now, but we are going to literally brush it out. So, brush out and you see, you're left with like a gorgeous wave, but it's not too crazy. So this is where like sometimes, if I'm say getting a train to Paris or getting a flight, I would maybe not brush it out too much. Or this is when you would see people walk out of a salon with their hair like this and they've maybe not brushed it out. So you just like put your fingers through it to get the desired thing. So I actually quite like this curl. I could break it down, I could brush it, or I could just leave it. Same on this side, it always looks a bit funky to begin with and then boom, there we have it, you can see, brushed. And one thing my hairdresser in Leeds loves to do, Tatty, she makes me go, three, two, one, and then we go, whoo! And that's always kind of the perfect way to like settle it. So what I would say is when you've done it like this, it always looks a little bit maybe too neat, too clean to begin with, depends what you want. So this is the kind of thing that you would do and then you would maybe go and do your makeup and then it's usually dropped a tiny bit. Depends if you wanted to make it not drop, like I say, go through every single curl and spray it. You can always go through with your fingers. This is a part where you can go through with your fingers. If you think I need that bit to be a bit curlier, just grab that one and re-tong it. Or you might just be like, you know what, I really like it. So for me, I have dinner tonight, this is gonna be perfect because this will have dropped by dinner. I don't think it's too big right now, but it might be for some people. But you can see you kind of get that nice thickness and yeah, you can always like open up the curls and then you can spray it again because you're like, okay, that's how I want it to set. So it's completely up to you. Sometimes I end up redoing the front of it. Sometimes, yeah, I just think it's the perfect way to kind of make your hair have that beachy, curly look that everyone seems to be asking for, for at the moment and it actually lasts as well. So as I say guys, I'll leave everything linked below and I hope you found this useful. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and you found this tutorial useful. Leave any questions below and as I said, everything's linked underneath. Thank you guys, see you next time.